Welcome to this introduction to the work of the Order of Bards, Ovates and Druids. My path towards Druidry began uh, when I became ill at the age of 21 and um, I had all sorts of strange symptoms. I had ME, nobody really understood it at the time and I was looking all over the place for something that might help me. Found one of the beautiful um, OBOD introductory leaflets and started doing the course which really helped me come to terms with my illness and offer me a way of understanding life. Druidry's helped me, I think, more than anything, feel more confident and more connected to myself and more connected to the world that I live in and the people who live in that world. Professionally, I work as a psychotherapist in a hospice setting. In fact, I'd say my Druid path has been invaluable with that work. It's been amazing. It started about seven years ago here on this Lunasa field um, around the campfire. Um, I did some poems and people were absolutely blown away and since then they've given me so much support and encouragement and booked me to perform in their events. Um, Druidry has totally changed my life creatively um, and has helped me become a professional poet. When you make a great kiss, it'll take you on a journey down the rabbit hole, feet first without a harness, diving into the deepest calmness but starting with a gentle swim in the warm shallows, soft as falling into a bag of melting marshmallows. Like laying yourself out naked on a glass table. The right kiss can freeze time, it can disable. Twist your lips into a Dunkin' Donut sugar bender. Extreme kisses mingle tough and tender. I walk upon this green land, this land that I love, I see figures of chalk carved into the hillsides above. Sir Nabbas, a man so proud, and a long man opens wide the gates of his world and invites. I'm a professional photographer and my, my background is in the military and so basically I've seen a, a lot of death and destruction and the military have taught me how to um, disconnect from life. But Georgie, what it's done for me is it's kind of, it's healed me in a lot of ways and it's made me reconnect with life, reconnect with nature and it's much more of a, um, a spiritual path for me and so now it's made me into a, a gentle man. At this time of highest light, I raise this blade that was born in fire as a bridge between heaven and earth. We swear, we swear by peace and love to stand, heart to heart and hand to hand, mark our spirit and hear us now, confirming this. Our sacred vow. We swear, we swear by peace and love to stand, heart to heart and hand in hand. hand. Mark, O Spirit, and hear us now, confirming this our sacred vow.
An isle so fair, an isle so green, known by many names. Feel the pulse, the pulse of the land, the blood boils within your veins. Someone go down to the holy well and raise the spirits there. Dwell upon these shores You say the goddess and God have gone But I tell you they live on For in the cities and hills They are the very first people found in the old history books as history dawns. And they've just become identified with these terrific megalithic monuments like Avebury and Stonehenge and the stone circles found in most parts of the country. So there's a great kind of dramatic landscape out there with which the Druids could be linked. Is there peace in the East? There is peace in the East! Is there peace in the South? I some 20 years on from uh, finding Obod particularly, um, I've, I've experienced lots of different elements of Druidry, but for me, the crucial thing was something that was mentioned in the Druid grade, and that was the idea of being of service to your local community. And that has shaped what I do now in terms of setting up a Friends of an open space in, in London, uh, transforming that space, transforming the local community, setting up a community project, uh, community orchard, those sorts of things. That is how I express my Druidry. Which is why I have come back so often to that image, that feeling of the small circle of us, with the sheath sword of peace lying in the centre, giving the lie to the centuries, holding up hope in the face of the millennia, looking steadfastly towards the future, hand in hand, and being prepared to die for it. Thank you for your attention. Mm. They are hollow and home to the fade Damp some midsummer's eve Some people don't understand when I say These are the things I believe These are the things I believe